What's a phrase you're sick of hearing? Due to unforeseen circumstances surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic, we are experiencing higher than normal call volume. Please, stay on the line. Or dial 8 if you would like us to call you back when a customer service representative is next. Available. Backslash. Dials 8. Backslash. Never gets a call back. Damn it I want my car parts. They're doing it because they like you, in context of bullying. I hate this phrase with my whole soul as I heard it many times when I was getting bullied. Instead of helping me this phrase simply made me so confused and scared and when people say this you're not giving people any closure and reason on why someone is bullying you and in turn how you can stop the bullying. Babysitting the kids today, huh? Yup. Ever since their mom died. We're in this together bitch you live in a mansion. Cry about it. This one is state specific but this is Wyoming. Act accordingly. Is the new slogan for Harriet Hageman and I'm like WTF is that condescending shit. Mine are very specific to dating apps. Don't be boring. I don't message first. I like food and travel. Honestly any sentence that mentions how sarcastic you are. Any reference to how you need someone that can handle you. I need someone that can take a joke. I'm probably funnier than you. Every single one of these phrases just says to me you're single for a very good reason and I should probably stay away. As a graduate math student, whenever I tell people that, the first thing they always say is, oh I always hated math. I get that there's a lot of problems with math education and that a lot of people don't enjoy it but sucks to constantly be told. I hate the thing that you like, over and over again. I just like doing fun math puzzles. I worked in offices for years, so, going forward, makes my eye twitch now. Who asked or nobody asked? It hurts more than people think. Especially when I'm having a conversation with somebody and a person just randomly invades and says. Who asked? You know what they say about people who assume. H-A-R-H-A-R-H-A-R. Tell me. Without telling me. One more time for the people in the back. I was today years old. It is what it is. Bitch I'm tired AF of what it is and it's shit. We're like a family, at work. I've been getting a lot of questions about. And hash X200B. No you haven't. Shut up. Asking for a friend. I was today years old. Question in front of the actual question. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger most overused bullshit ever. Money doesn't make you happy. Uh. I'd certainly be happy traveling to a mansion with my private jet. Not having to work. Stress free. The three phrases I heard every five seconds that annoyed the shit out to me were. Who asked, no one cares, and, did I ask? Quote. Those are the worst. Because I said so. Didn't ask. That's bussin. You'll find someone when the time is right when is that damn time. We need to normalize. Thoughts and prayers. Or any statement when someone uses, ask, as a noun like, what are the customers asks? Quote. And lastly, do the needful. Time heals everything. Nonsense. Try smiling more or act like a lady. Well, that's just your opinion. Yeah. No shit it's my opinion. The sky is also blue and today is Friday. Say what you mean. What you mean is. I don't value your opinion. Let's take this offline. I swear if I ever get to meet. Either in this life or the next. The person who first said, if you have time to lean. You have time to clean. I will shove broken glass in both their eyes. Thank you for your service. It's so awkward to hear that.
I didn't do anything spectacular during my time in the Navy. I'm not a war hero. And frankly, it's just a generic platitude. What am I supposed to say to that? You're welcome. Quote. Using on steroids to indicate that something is more extreme or powerful. Who asked? Giving time back when ending a meeting two minutes early. Say it louder for the people in the back. Almost always indicates that the hot take is cold as ice. Reach out. Just call or text or email. Don't stick your dick in that. That hits different. That slaps. That's fire. Happy wife. Happy life. King. Queen. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And, everything happens for a reason. The first one is wrong. What doesn't kill you gives you crippling anxiety. Depression and PTSD. The second one is mostly said by religious people. Which. If you believe your magical sky guy thought it was a good idea to give a family friend uncurable. Lung cancer. Then have fun. But get the fuck out of my face. It is what it is. Bet. Any usage of the word cap. Fucked around. Found out. Can we normalize? Dystopia. Woke. It will get better. How do you know? At the end of the day. You make a better door than a window. Say less. With. Boys will be boys.